Hey folks, Justin from Tackle Tactics, out on the water this morning with Bo Sawyer, former Flathead Classic Champion and current Captain's Charters Fishing Guide. We are chasing flatties, so stay tuned for plenty of action and loads of tips. Fish on. We've got a bit of run-in tide left, Bo, before she starts dropping oh. out. Whoa, we've got a rattle. Got a little tap, mate. Yeah, I think it so, was a big one. <laughs> oh, that's all right. It's a, it's a bit of a bit of a starter where yeah. there's smoke, there's fire. That's it. <laughs> um, for you, fishing the highest stages of the tide like we are this morning, yep. we've got the, pretty much the high tide. Yeah. What sort of areas do you look for on the higher stages of the tide? Uh, generally, I like jumping up on the flats that have a bit of weed running around. And we've got a pretty good tide this morning, so we're heading into the high tide now. It's still pretty low light conditions, which I like. And also, we've only got a 1.7 metre spread from that low to high. So I think this morning's going to fish a little bit better than this afternoon would, because this afternoon the tide spread's only about a metre. So there's not going to be as much flow. So I'd like to see a little bit of flow over that flat at the end of yep. the day, mate. And as long as we don't want to just be popping up on any old bank, we want to be fishing a bit of structure. And that structure where we are now is mainly just weed. Yep, cool, cool. So hitting, hitting those up on those flats, hitting those weed edges, hey, we have yeah. weed. All, all patches as well, it's weed, quite good. Weed patches, weed holds bait, prawns and bait fish That's and that it, sort of mate. thing. And we can already see plenty of bait working around here. I've seen a couple of little bust ups, so yep. I think it's just gonna be a case of getting a lure in front of a flatty. That's it, hey, so we're covering plenty of water, picking those weed pockets, looking for bait flicking around, prawns and bait fish up holding on those weed patches, and hopefully a flatty in there eating them. All right, that one feels a little bit better. Want the net for that one? I think he might be 40 points, this one. <laughs> score it. He's a scorer, I think. Not a giant, but that's cool, yeah. buckle up. No, he'd be a scorer, mate, definitely. There we go. Couple of little fellas to warm it up, and that one will be just legal. On that three inch Slim Swims, Midnight All Color. All right, there's our First legally this morning, that one to be, be just legal. On that three inch slimmies, we're fishing a quarter ounce head up on the flats here. It gives us a nice long cast, gets down there quick and we can pick those weed edges. So this is the color I saw bow tie on this morning, the midnight oil, so I was straight on it, but in a three inch slimmies and, and getting the bite, we'll send this guy back. Fish on. Yeah, he's just a baby. Skim him in. Quick release. release. I think he was just under legal, that one. Yep, so I'm on a quarter, you're on a quarter. That's, yep. For the for the area that we're fishing, we're probably in metre, metre and a half. Yeah, yeah, metre max here, yep. mate. You, yep. you could definitely go lower if you like. Quarter ounce just means I can work that lure a little bit quicker if I want to and yep. get that bigger cast in there. So there you go, one eighth, one sixth up on the flats here, metre, maybe a bit over, but quarter, punch it in there, work it quick. We're covering plenty of water bow this morning, hey? Yep. That's, That's it, the name mate. of the game. Cover the water, find the active fish. Yep. Hopefully find a couple of big ones. Yep, yep. The net for that one. Get it ready just in case it wakes up. No. Nah. Little tacker. Hey! Wee, he's angry. Just on the legal though. Of this big net, they look tall. Yeah, <laughs> I know. I've got the same problem. I run a big net because you're just hoping, eh? Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Another little pocket rocket coming back over the same sort of area that we got those other ones. So I've changed it up a little bit. I've just changed the head color and the plastic. So that's a three inch minnows in purple death on a chartreuse head, which I, I really like that setup when the water's a little bit dirty. So we've got that. UV reactive head there, and also the belly of this really lights up under UV light. That's a, the purple death color, so just a little flatty. But we're warming up for the morning, mate, hey? That's it, mate. Hey, gotta wake up first, and yep. then we'll, we'll get into it. He's nettable, this one, I think. Oh, no, he's not. He's a 50, I think. 
Oh, 50. Buckle up. Oh, not even. Not even. A little bit better. As long as they keep getting bigger, mate, I'll yeah. be happy. Yeah, that's a nice little fish for yeah. sure. Yep, lots of people will be happy to see him come in the boat. That's that's for sure. He's yep. scoffed that, hey? Oh, no, there he is out there. So, colour change for you. You were on a different colour early. Yep. I thought I'd try something a bit different. Electric chicken. Uh, you went with that colour because of the water clarity? Yeah. Yep. yep. I just want it, and I still wanted to keep that profile small because there's a lot of smaller bait flicking around. So, yep. I don't want to be upsizing to that four inch plastic because we want to keep that same profile. Yeah, because you do love your four inch diesel. I minnows, do, right? mate, I love them. So that's a three inch minnow, it's an electric chicken color. Yep. You're on a Headlocks HD there. That's it, mate. Quarter 3.0. Yep. Quarter 3.0. Yep, quarter 3.0, perfect in those three inch minnows. And that three inch, if you if you were ever just going to grab a plastic and try and catch a floody, that three inch minnows is probably a great all rounder Definitely. for a floody, no matter what system you're fishing yep. in. And, and with that jig head as well, the quarter and the three O's, a pretty good place to start. Yeah, beautiful. So, yes, yeah, so that's a, that's definitely a scorer. That's a nice, nice yeah. flatty. We're racking up a few numbers now. We just need to find that big one, I think. Yep. <laughs> no, I don't know. Don't know. Uh, it's a fish. Awesome fun, mate. <laughs> it oh, is we're good fun. ticking some numbers over. It's good Look, fun. Look, you don't always need monsters to have a good time no, in the water. No, I that's right. These guys are great fun. Put a bend in the rod there. They're hitting aggressively this morning. That's it. You're only one cast away from a big fish, so. I'd gone a little bit quiet there for a while, but I- uh, uh, You let me catch up. I put the put the rattle in that one, the rattlesnaker. So you'll hear that rattle inside there. So I put a rattle inside this three inch slim swims using that Z-Man rattlesnaker. First cast back out after doing that fish on. So see how we go. Just a little fella, but put a bend in the rod, put a smile on my face. Found the numbers, mate. Yeah, he's absolutely whacked that. That was a good little hit. Yeah. It's funny how sometimes the hardest hits can be the smallest fish, but there's one I missed this morning. It's a very soft, timid bite. I reckon that was a big one. A better fish, eh? Hey? Yep. Yep. But we can tell a lot by that bite too. So when those fish are hitting quite aggressively, we know they're hungry. And if you're getting a lot of those little timid bites, you know they're being a little bit shy. Yep, so these little guys might be fired up this morning. The big fellas we're going to have to work a bit harder for. Yeah, that's it, mate. But that's pretty good. We've clocked a bunch of numbers yeah, already this morning, yep. which is great. I don't mind a bend in the rod. That's it, mate. Keeps us smiling. Get that little guy See you, back. buddy. <clears throat> that one was on the three-inch minnows, electric chicken. Three-inch minnows, mate, yeah. Yeah, what are, what are a few of your favourite pluckies, Z-Man pluckies in your kit? Yep, I, I love my diesel minnows in that yep. four-inch size. So whenever I'm flicking for larger flathead specifically, I love that four-inch size. Yep. Um, but it's going to depend on what bait's in the system as well. So we can see what's been flicking on the surface, and it's a lot of smaller stuff. So that's why I've opted for that three-inch size. Yep. Whereas if we go to another spot shortly and the bait's a little bit bigger, I'll jump straight onto straight that on four-inch four plastic, four inch mate. I know. Oh, I just had I know that, that four-inch diesel minnows has been a big producer for you. It eh? has, mate. It's, it's yeah, it's won me some good prizes, to be honest with you. Um, Definitely my confidence bait. Yep. A um, few different colours that I like too. So Pearl's always one I've got in the tackle bag. Yep. Gold Rush in low light conditions. I've caught more big flathead on that colour than, than any other colour. Yeah. But the more that sun comes up, the less likely I'm going to chuck that one on. And motor oil. So probably the last 12 months, I've caught all my fish on motor oil. Yeah. Probably so a good 90% of them. bounce between those a bit. The, I, I the do, Pearl, the the motor oil and the gold rush, That's yeah. right. but the motor oil is the winner at the moment, hey? Definitely. Especially yeah. through that summer period, I find that that, you know, through winter period where that water gets real clear, yes. we kind yeah. of switch back to the green lanterns and the opening north. Love green lantern, yeah. Through the summertime where we get a lot more rain and the water's a lot dirtier, those colours, pearl, pearl yep. any water, um, that motor oil and that gold rush in that low light and that dirty water. That's hey? it, mate. Um, yeah, and soon as, the more that sun comes out, the more likely I'm going to chuck that motor oil on. Yep. Just really glows in the water, and yeah. I reckon that'll get us a few fish. Yeah, that's cool. And that yep. the four inch diesel minnows and that three inch minnows as a downsize. Yep. You fish any smaller? Not generally, mate. Yep. I, if, if I'm just chasing numbers of all species, I love that two and a half, three inch slim swim. Yep. Um, sometimes that's just going to get me more bites than anything else. Yep. So and, that, and that's more a hedge your bets bait, brim, everything. I think everything. so too, yep. yeah. Yep. But yep. even then, mate, I've still caught some pretty big flatties on it. Yep. But yep. because we're generally, when I'm running those smaller plastics, I'm running a lighter leader as well, I do get bitten off by some of those yep. big girls. Yep. Yeah. So there you go. If you want to catch a flatty, four inch diesel minnows, three inch minnows is a pretty good starting point. Yep, I think so, mate. It's going to cover most bases.
All right, fish on, just picking those weed edges. Nice little flatfish. Oh, come on, mate, in the net. You're a beauty. Cranking the numbers, mate. Yep. Cranking the numbers. We just keep chipping away. We know there's going to be a big one in amongst oh, them. I reckon so, mate. I don't even know how many we're up to now. That's <laughs> yeah. a good problem to have. <laughs> yeah, we've got to be in the past, <laughs> well past the dozens, yeah, that's for sure. Definitely. So we've put plenty of bends in rods, just flicking those paddle tail Z-Man plastics on those quarter ounce 10 heads. So that's the three inch slim swims again in that midnight oil color. Definitely good fun up here flicking on the flats. We've got a beautiful day out on the water. We're just picking the fish in amongst the weed beds. All right, we've snuck back in here to fish a weed edge. So we're basically picking the pockets in the weed here. What sort of retrieve would you use, Bo, in this sort of situation here? Yeah, so I'm probably mainly focusing on those little flicks just to get through that weed. Um, I find if you're just gonna do a slow hop, you'll collect that weed on the way up, which is definitely not what we want, because yep. as soon as you get a bit of weed on that plastic, you've just, you've wasted that cast. Yep. So trying to get through that weed as easily as possible. That's probably my main retrieve here. Once I get off that weed edge, I can switch to hopping or even a slow roll if I like. But yep. just remembering, if you're gonna slow roll through weedy areas, you're definitely gonna collect that weed on the way through. So. Yeah, you almost wanna be up above the weed, yeah, maybe a lighter, keep it a little bit lighter above. Get, hey? Yep. Yeah, so just rip one out there yep. and just talk us through what you would do in this situation, fishing the weed edge. No worries. So, so that's right on the edge of the right weed. Right on the edge Boom, of the weed perfect. there. But we do have a little bit of, a tiny bit yep. of weed on the way back out. Patches so of weed So I'm there. just doing these really little short stabby flicks yep and, and that, um, that's a great retrieve too when the water's shallow like this yeah because you see a lot of people do a big hop hop and you can almost see the plastic on the surface that's every right, time mate and the other thing we've got to think about too is every time we move that rod we're doing something to the lure so how high you're lifting your rod's going to dictate how high that plastic's coming up and also the distance every time we flick that rod tip so you're going to find days where you don't want to be moving your plastic that far you want to just be doing little short movements just to keep that plastic in the fish's face yep. so if those fish are just being a little bit more timid i can just keep that lure yep. dancing in his face and quite often that's going to get me the hit especially somewhere like here where you are fishing tight to weed so yep. that shorter shakes you're keeping it in that strike zone longer that's it mate. driving the fish crazy hopefully and getting them to fire up that's and the plan well. anyway yeah yep whereas those big hops like you say by the time you've gone hop hop and given it a wine yep. you've, you've probably moved a meter meter and a half a yeah line. that's right that, that's quite a fair distance really so yep. if that flathead's not really in the mood to be moving too far for food he, he might not chase after it yep well let's yep. keep giving them a bit of a flick yep firing a few up sounds good mate yep yeah fish on yeah, that looks a little just more solid mate a legal one no not even that's some pretty colors on it oh though. that's a beautiful fish yeah some nice colors in that one eh? yeah very nice they're usually a little bit more sandier out here but he's pretty dark that one so that could just be that rain we've had there's a lot of dirty water up in the system oh, he's off and this fella shot out here where it's a bit cleaner what leader are you running on on that there what leader do you normally run chasing um these depends what size i'm after oh, so if, if i'm after numbers that. i'll drop down to say 10 or 12 pound but i want a big one now so we're running 15 pound leader yep. and which seems pretty heavy for when someone who's fishing the flats but I've definitely caught fish on that 15 pound leader that I wouldn't have if yeah. I was using 10. Yeah. And they're yeah. not they're not super they're not super spooky down here. You know, there's oh, a lot of boat traffic yeah. and stuff. It's Look, I guess for you guys, you find them if they're timid, you go to 12 size. pound or 10 pound. That's pounds. it, yeah. mate. Yeah. I think there's no real right answer when it comes to leader. The lighter you go, yes, you're going to get the hits, but you're going to have to be willing to sacrifice yeah. a few fish. So it's that trade it's, off. It's up to you what you want to do, but. Anywhere yep. sort of between 10 and 15 pound, I think you're going to be fine. Yeah. And 10 is pretty much as low as you go for yeah. flavors and stuff. Same, uh, yeah. When I'm flicking smaller plastics around, I might have the six pound leader on just because I'm chasing a bit of everything. Yep. But I do get bitten off by the big ones sometimes. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. If, you're, if you're chasing your flatties, you love your flatties. 10 pounds sort of stick around there. Yeah. But up to 15. And, and especially if, if the water's dirtier and they're not as spooky on the leader. That's it. 15 mate. pounds fine. You might get that big one. And keep it on there. Yep. If it just if it swallows that lure down a little bit, you just got a little bit more insurance there. Yeah, a little bit of yeah. safety net. <laughs> yeah. And I like using that loop knot as well. It just gives that lure a little bit more action. But also, I'm trying to keep that knot a little bit further away from that hook because if that flathead swallows it down, when I strike, that knot will quite often rub on the teeth, and I lose a lot of good fish doing that. So just having it a little bit further away than a clinch knot definitely yep. helps as well. Yeah, hey, cool tip. Yep. 
keep get them on there, then keep them on there. That's it. <laughs> yep, there he is. Oh yeah, he's all right. He's a nice chunky fish. Yeah, oh, a healthy fish. Beautiful. Nicely done. Cheers, mate. That's a ripper. Nice. You said to me, you said to me, just punch it in on that weed edge where that bait's flicking. Yep. And that's where he was, right where he should have been. They love those weed edges. I love it when they play the game right on the weed edge, right where the bait is. Beautiful little three inch slimmies and got the rattle in there. So that rattle snaker, shaking it up in that drain, giving it a few hops, firing up that rattle inside of there. We've got the scent on there as well. Everything we can do to try and get that fish to bite. And that's a nice chunky flatty, that guy. Oh, come here, mate. He's fired up. They're angry down here today, Bo. They are, mate. <laughs> so there we go. Nice, chunky, mid 40s, little bit bigger flatty. Nailed that three inch slim swims, midnight oil. Got our rattle in there, sent it up. And another nice fish, we'll send that one back. You guys can come down here with Bo and get stuck into that one. Right, we've checked the leader on that one there, and that leader was pretty well chewed. So I've just grabbed out those TT ceramic scissors, and we're gonna retie that bit of litter. So I've just cut out the chewed piece there, and I've got 10 pound hard armor, tough leader on there. So I'm just going to tie that back on just with a locked blood knot. So just important to remember, always check your leader once you've landed a flatty. Oh, a nice one, mate. That's a nice fish. I'm gonna get this rod out of the way so I can get the net for you. <laughs> Sorry, mate. That's You're a, right, mate. Didn't take that one seriously enough when you hooked that guy. That is a, that's the one we're looking for. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. That's a nice chunky fish. Yeah. The lure's come out. On the three inch slim swim. Three inch slim swims, midnight oil color. That is a beautiful fish. Beautiful, mate. Mate, that, that's a cracker. Biggest of the day. Great thing about <laughs> great thing about those flatties is that you know anyone can get out here with you. Yep. Anyone can have a crack at a yeah, fish like that's that. That's it, mate. On plackies and soft plastics are so good. They're nice and easy to fish. Yep. Loads of action. Now there's a trick with handling these critters Definitely, as well. Mate, as soon as he settles down. <laughs> All right. So with these flatties, you've got to be careful of those two spikes right up here. Um, they'll give you a nice little nasty nick, so we want to try to avoid that. So once he settles down a little bit, or she I should say, what we're going to do, we're going to put our fingers right in the grooves there. And you can feel it squish in, and that way by holding it like that, you're, just, you're not going to be able to get spiked by those top two spikes. Oh so. yeah, and we've been done, we've all been done oh, by mate, a few of them in our time, mate. A couple of hundred for me, I reckon. <laughs> I'm probably almost immune to it now, but yeah. um, no, it still tickles a little bit, mate, yeah. and you draw a bit of blood from it, so we'll try to avoid that. You, you saw with the net there, so the key thing with the net is you don't want to be sweeping the net around trying to catch the fish. Just put that net in the water, Bo steered that fish in, and you can see handling it there looks after the fish and also protects himself from yeah. the spikes we'll Also, just try and support that weight as well. Yeah, that's yeah. a beautiful fish, mate. And, and a fish that anyone can catch. Soft yep. plastics are so good, loads of action, easy to fish. 100%. And these mate. guys love them. Yep, definitely the best way to target flathead on those soft plastics, I reckon. And you just can cover more ground fishing with lures as opposed to bait. So, yeah, it's good. Good yeah, fun that's as awesome, well. Mate. We'll send that one back. Yep, let's do it. Hate that on the paws, that guy. Just let it. The net for that one, mate. Uh, we might put it in there. Yep. Yep. Not a, not a big fish or anything, but I've shaken a few off today at the boat, so yep. we'll put him in there. Oh, that's a big net. <laughs> <laughs> not a big fish, but that's a big net. Still on my green lantern colour. What colour are you running? Uh, my, uh, midnight oil. Midnight, you like yeah. that midnight oil, hey? You've been uh, running that a that, bit. That or motor oil. Oh, yep. I'm not too fussed which one, but yep. I want that UV colour. UV yeah. is pretty good in the dirty water, yeah, eh? Definitely, mate. This water's way cleaner than, uh, than a by place. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm running this guy. Nice bat natural bait fish colour, but yeah, another little fish. Geez, we've clocked some numbers. Yep. We must have caught 30 fish, I think, so far. Yeah, mate. Well, today. We've done That's well crazy. On the numbers. I don't mind if the, my rod gets bent a dozen times throughout the day. Yep. Another little tacker, we'll send him back in. See you, buddy. Uh, it's about the same size, mate. Oh, 
Oh, about the same size. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> that's a 45, mate. Oh, Maybe a bit more, that one. Might. That's a nice fish. It looked like there was a bit of activity when I caught that then. Yeah. Hopefully they're just about to start biting. Well, I just sent mine back. Bo's got another one straight in the boat. That yeah. one's a nice, chunky mid-40s fish. Yeah, mate. That's, that's pretty cool. fish. Mid-40s on the three-inch minnows. Midnight all colour. Yep. And that is a bit of a... Oh, he's chunk. Chunk. Chunky little fella. He is a bit of a unit. Come on, mate. That's a very healthy fish. Oh, that is. That's, that's a, a nice chunky flatty. Good to see. Well, there we go, mate. That's a nice chunky little 45 centimetre flatty, which a lot of people would love that guy for, for a hookup or for yeah, a feed. Yeah, a bit of beer battered flatties. Beer battered flatties. So yep. that's been a good fun session, mate. More than 30 fish. Yep. A bunch of tips in there from you to help us go and find a few more. Yep. So there you go, guys. If you want to get out on the water with Bo, check out Captain's Charters and make sure you stay tuned for plenty more videos dropping on Tackle Tactics TV. All the best with the fishing. Cheers.